All right, news three is your weather authority, and let's take you outside where it is a toasty afternoon. A toasty afternoon where a lot of people are doing good things in our community. News three's Vicki Gonzalez wearing two hats today. We're talking weather and filling the bus to help out Clark County School District kids. Yeah, Reed and Marie, the heat is not keeping people away. This is shopping carts of love. The community really coming out and supporting kids get back to school. Notebooks, backpacks, even computer equipment, which is incredible. And these are all brand new. Before we learn more about Fill the Bus, let's get you started for the weekend. It is Friday, so let's take a look at the weather. Triple digits in some parts of the Las Vegas Valley, a little bit cooler out towards the west currently. There's a little bit of breeze going around also outside of the valley. And, uh, uh, Northeast Clark County is heating up as well as down south in Laughlin. Mount Charleston is looking pretty nice. Tomorrow is going to be a lot like today. The breeze should taper off just a little bit. We'll be at around 103 degrees. Lots of sunshine. Tonight will be a couple degrees cooler in the mid 70s in many locations in southern Nevada. And tomorrow highs will be around normal or normals 102 degrees. We'll be hovering around that for many areas in southern Nevada. If you want to head up to Mount Charleston, and I don't blame you. The higher elevations are looking great for Saturday and Sunday. So looking at the rest of the weekend, sunny skies, Saturday and Sunday. Then when we get back to school, we're going to get a return of monsoonal moisture, possibly some scattered showers or thunderstorms. So, but temperature-wise, at least the temperatures are heading in the right direction. Okay, now I'm in the air conditioning. It is so hot, right? I'm joined once again by Diane. Yes. Yeah. But so talk to us about, you were mentioning around 45,000 students yeah. in Clark County are going to benefit from these school supplies. Absolutely. We're servicing and supporting 43 schools with low-income, high-risk students. And these kind of resources and supplies are critical. So you are inside our third bus that's being filled today. And while I am excited about that, I'm not all done. <laughs> Right. We have tomorrow as well as till 6 o'clock today to go ahead and take in more school supplies and particularly school uniforms uniforms for the elementary and middle school students. Well, I like the enthusiasm. And, you know, one thing you mentioned in the last half hour that to bring up is one of the donations are our school uniforms, correct? Some families just can't provide uniforms for, for their children. And they're required to have them to go ahead and attend school, so that can be a barrier. And at Communities and Schools, we focus on removing non-academic barriers. The partners we have, and Nevada State Bank was the most recent one, to go ahead and bring a whole carload of supplies and deliver them to us, along with gift cards, which are very important because if there's a particular supply item that we didn't get quite enough of between today and tomorrow, that gift card magic presto turns into exactly what our kids need. Right, yeah, so the community, not only residents, but also businesses stepping up and helping Clark County students. So this ends today. We're at 215 and, uh, and Rainbow, so that's the southwest part of the valley. Now tomorrow, 8 a.m. on 215 and Eastern. That's in Henderson, so still lots of time to fill up those two other buses. And if you want to learn you know, more about the school supplies, maybe you want to donate, just head to our website, news3lv.com. Also, if you're a family that would like to receive these supplies, also head over to our website. We're going to connect you with Diane's website, Community and Schools Nevada, so you can see what you need to do to receive those school supplies. So live at Sam's Club, Vicki Gonzalez, News 3. This goes on until 6 o'clock, so even today you still have plenty of time, Rita Murray.